I've been having played Claire Underwood now for six seasons, over more than five years. Um, what are you going to miss the most about this role now that it's all over? Her wardrobe. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Truthfully. You know, since, you've, since you know how the mind works, since you know what motivates her, what drives her now, where do you think she'll land beyond where we leave her on the show? That's a good question. We uh, ask the writers that ourselves. You know, where could this go? I mean, it's endless if right. you think about politics today. Um, I don't think we... Uh, can ever say, oh, the conventional form would be this. The, the convention's gone out the window. Right. Do you feel like her actions will catch up with her? Karmically, yes. I don't know. This is a fictional drama set in a Shakespearean tone, so. True. But I guess, yeah. Shakespeare used a lot of karma, didn't he? True. Ghosts and things. You know, I slept with him once. Your husband. You have enemies and they underestimate you. You know, Francis warned me about you. I'm not going to be told what to do anymore, Doug. Not by you or any man ever again. Robin, how much of Claire Underwood's arc, her entire arc, had been mapped out for you when David Fincher first offered you the part six years ago? Basically what he said was, uh, you're never just going to be arm candy or just a politician's wife. Mm -hmm. You will become the most formidable power couple, corrupt though they may be, um, on television. He delivered on that. Yes, he did. What's the trick to successfully playing someone, playing a woman who goes on to become such an immoral character? I think what it does, the embodiment of Claire Underwood, which was uh, the intention, was to build a woman who was the best of both sexes. Right. And she operates um, when necessary mm -hmm. as a man and when necessary as a, as a female. Do you have to hold back from judging her? Yeah, I think you always do if you're an actor playing a character. You have to like the character or you can't portray it properly. In which case, how do you view her? I view her as a very um, efficient utilitarian. That's a nice way to put it. Robin, without giving anything away for those that might not have watched the entire season just yet, um, I think it's fair to say that that final moment, the big finale, um, is very chilling. Some would say she ends up becoming pretty much Frank Underwood. Well, she learned from the best, didn't right. she? Right. <laughs> what were your first thoughts when you first learned of that ending? That's what the writers had come up with. Well, we all collectively decided that that was the way we should end it. It, it, it had a few different iterations. Ted Sarandos, the, the big boss at Netflix, said he was on set in Baltimore when you all shot that last finale. You were, of course, directing. Um, he said it was a big moment because it was, it, it, it was all leading up to this. It's, it's, it had been six seasons. What was it like putting the sort of final touches on that? It was quite a day, I have to say. I think it was a 16-hour day because it was the last day we were able to shoot. We could not go over schedule and we were not getting all the coverage we needed for the finale and it was stressful and everybody was so tired um and the group that we were together such hard workers and really pulled out all the stops to make this last scene what it could be given the clock uh, just an incredible group of people we got to work with and it was bittersweet saying goodbye to an end of six years, an end of this, an end of an era, an end of this run together. Uh, we spent more time together than we did with our own families. Right. Finally, is it true that you kept something, a souvenir from the set? I took a painting from the West Wing hallway that is a painting of a ship in the 1800s 
going across the ocean, and it was always next to another ship going in the opposite direction. And I thought I'm gonna take that because it's ships passing in the wind just as chapters in life happen. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for playing this part so beautifully. Thank you, sir. Thank you.